Benjamin Namdi Azikiwe, popularly known as Zik, was the first president of Nigeria and one of the leading figures of Nigerian nationalism. Azikiwe was born on November 16, 1904 in Zingeru, located in present-day Niger state, to Igbo parents originally from the town of Anitsha in Anambra state. At an early age, he was exposed to the injustices of colonialism when his father, a civilian clerk for a British army regiment, was forced to leave his job because of discrimination. His memories of this incident would eventually lead him to drop his English first name, Benjamin, as well as shape his future political attitudes and actions. Azakiwe spoke the three major Nigerian languages. As a young child he could only converse in Hausa but at the age of eight, he was sent to Anitsha to live with his paternal grandparents and became fluent in Igbo, Yoruba and eventually English under their tutelage. He was also taught the customs and traditions of the Igbo people. His formal schooling began at the Roman Catholic and Anglican mission schools of Anitsha where he excelled both in academia and sports. He later attended the Wesleyan Boys High School in Lagos and the Hope Waddell Training Institute in Calabar, Cross River State. Azakiwe traveled to the United States to continue his education. In 1925, he enrolled at Stora College, a historically black institution in West Virginia where he acquired the nickname, Zik. He spent one year at Stora while completing an intensive correspondence course in American law and procedures through Chicago's LaSalle Extension University. While transients through Ghana in 1934, Azakiwe met Ita Wallace Johnson, a trade unionist and newspaperman from Sierra Leone who offered him a job as editor of the African Morning Post, an Accra-based newspaper. He held this job until 1936 when he was tried for sedition after publishing an article by Wallace Johnson entitled, Has the African a God? Although he was found guilty of the charges and sentenced to six months in prison, he was eventually acquitted on appeal. He returned home in 1937 and started the West African Pilot newspaper which he used as a means of promoting Nigerian nationalism. He went on to found the Zik group of newspapers and set up many newspapers in cities across the country. Azakiwe dedicated much of his adult life to politics and was referred to by his admirers as the Great Zik of Africa. Azakiwe became active in the Nigerian Youth Movement, NYM, the first genuinely nationalist organization in Nigeria. However, he soon resigned from the NYM in protest at alleged discrimination against Ajebu members, taking all of the Igbo and most of the Ajebu members with him. He co-founded the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons NCNC, with Herbert Macaulay in 1944. He became the Secretary General of the NCNC in 1946 and was elected to the Legislative Council of Nigeria the following year. In 1951, he became the leader of the opposition in the Western Region's House of Assembly. In 1952, Azakiwe moved to the Eastern Region and was elected to the position of Chief Minister there, eventually becoming Premier of the region in 1954. In 1955, he passed the legislation that led to the founding of the University of Nigeria, in Sukkur in 1960. Namdi Azakiwe, Obafemi Awolowo of the Action Group and Amadu Bello of the NPC, the leaders of the other two main parties, were members of the Nigerian delegation at the 1957 constitutional talks held in London led by Abu Bakar Tafawa Balewa, the Premier of the Federal Government and Vice President of the NPC at the time. Following independence in 1960, an NPC-NCNC coalition won the national election and Balewa became the federal prime minister. When Nigeria was proclaimed a republic in 1963, Azakiwe became its first president. The military coup of January 15, 1966 led to Azakiwe and his civilian colleagues being thrown out of power. After the war, he was Chancellor of the University of Lagos from 1972 to 1976. He joined the Nigerian People's Party in 1978, making unsuccessful bids on its platform for the presidency in 1979 and 1983. He left politics after a military coup on December 31, 1983. Azakiwe was a prolific writer. His work outlined his philosophy of African liberation which identified five concepts for Africa's movement towards freedom, spiritual balance, social regeneration, economic determination, mental emancipation and political resurgence. His numerous published works include Political Blueprint for Nigeria, Zik, My Odyssey, An Autobiography, Renaissance Africa, Essentials for Nigeria's Survival, The Future of Pan-Africanism, Themes in African Social and Political Thought, Restoration of Nigerian Democracy, Ideology for Nigeria, Capitalism, Socialism or Welfareism, and History Will Vindicate the Just. He also carved a niche for himself in the professional world by running several newspapers and other companies. 
Places named after him include the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja, the Namdi Azikiwe Stadium in Enugu and the Namdi Azikiwe University in Orca, Anambra State. His portrait appears on the 500 Naira note. In 1960, Queen Elizabeth II appointed him to the Privy Council of the United Kingdom. He was conferred with the highest Nigerian national honor, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic in 1980. He received 14 honorary degrees from Nigerian, American and Liberian universities and in 1990, Lincoln University named a professorial chair in his honor. Azakiwe died on May 11, 1996 at the University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital in Enugu after a long illness. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next video.